really in it. So this happened, I think, just yesterday or maybe today. But I think most of you may be aware that a comedian called DC Young Fly is unfortunately going through a really, really troubling time where um, his partner, wife and mother of his children unfortunately passed away in really tragic circumstances. Um, the word now is that she was um, she went to go get a mummy makeover which involves getting i think a tummy tuck and maybe a bit of a boob lift whatever whatever women need to get done you know after they've maybe had a few kids and they don't feel as confident as maybe they did before in their own skin and then in the process of healing up she may have passed away and now the thing the word is that she may have passed away in her room by herself healing up herself which is horrible and tragic considering that she was a young mother with three kids with a loving family and social circle around her to kind of be on your own in those last minutes in a random hotel room somewhere must have been a bit tragic in itself but again we don't know the details but by and large DC Young Fly really popular and well-known kind of comedian in the hip-hop slash urban space over there in America and somebody's just like a fixture in the scene overall and people kind of generally have a lot of time for and obviously one of the hosts on the um, I forgot what the podcast he's got it's, it's 85th and something um, comedy kind of show that he does that's really fun as well and really hilarious and obviously everyone's kind of you know heartbroken for him over the news considering he has like three young kids to look after as well on his own so just tragic all around right and he hasn't really said nothing about it and you know clearly the guy's probably going through it at the moment so you can only kind of you know extend your kind of thoughts and prayers with that being said everyone else is in that sort of mood i guess azalea banks isn't because for some reason no one else i think on the internet realized or remembered that dc young fly and azalea banks at one point had a bit of beef when azalea banks appeared on the show dc young fly used to be on called wild and out the one he was kind of made famous he kind of got his name from and during the process of the kind of roast, roast session, roast, roast session that they were doing, her and DC Young Fly had a bit of back and forth. And I watched a clip of the episode where they kind of have their back and forth and DC Young Fly kind of rips her to pieces. It's not that aggressive. She probably says way more hurtful things about him than he did about her. But somehow, I guess you can't tell people how to feel. You know, Azalea Banks has been holding this resentment for DC Young Fly for a while. And when she heard about the news of DC Young Fly's wife, mother of his children, partner, love of his life passing away, this is what she said on flipping Instagram stories. This is what she tweeted on the Instagram stories. This woman is absolutely savage. She said, Damn, DC Young Fly spent years disguising his own deeply rooted hatred as self jokes pointed at women's beauty projecting his own feelings about his own ugliness into women perfectly secure of their own skin say what you want about my tears they were pure tears of rage and not all of a sign of weakness <clears throat> because in the end i won which is a weird thing to say in it i won but i'm happy i cried and moved on that jackie o girl must have really been feeling so deeply insecure about herself and that nerve of DC to call such a gorgeous woman as Azalea Banks ugly on national television while a bunch of black people laughed? It continues. And, I, and ironically, dead at 32, exactly on my 32nd birthday, May 31st, 2023, in Miami, Florida. You niggas are going to learn to stop fucking with me. I don't think anyone gets how much of a of the press from this episode that derailed the success of quote unquote Anna Wintour. I came to sing my song and go home and only to request of my label. Then the stupid butch queens on stage behind me basically making a mockery of it being a quote unquote gay song. Fake voguing behind me in their do-rags like they aren't all raging homosexuals. That fawn in my side is finally out. No way in hell um, I was blessed with this many gifts, this much talent and beauty. To be a cultural punching bag for a cast of peons who wouldn't have a pot to piss in if they didn't have the court of social media addicts to gesture for. I do this in real life, dick lickers. Ha ha, ashe. <laughs> Yo, this is fucking psychotic. The, the, the guy's wife and mother of his children passes away you have a personal beef with him which is stupid because i watched the clip and it's, it's a nothing burger beef and nothing burger thing to get upset about but again you can't tell people how to be upset and what to be upset about but then what does her passing have to do with dc young fly that's the thing that's 
bizarre about this and that's what comes across mean spirited because you can hold grudges and not want to forgive that's your prerogative but the ha ha i won thing when it's the partner that passed away who had nothing to do with the whole issue because it would have made sense if maybe you know along the way in the episode when they were going back and forth the you know um the girl i think her name is um i forgot her name actually but whatever the girl's name is, RIP to you, I mean, don't no respect, but if she was in this crowd as well, laughing along the way, fair enough. But it just, it was a, obviously an incident involving Azalea Banks and DC Young Fly, which is what makes it utterly bizarre. But on one side of things, I'm also a little bit torn because I think maybe this is what people should be doing. Because I feel like there's a lot of people who kind of fake the funk and sort of just extend pleasantries just to kind of appear nice when they don't really mean it. Um, or when they've actually got a real problem with somebody and they pass away, they think the kind of correct and polite thing to do is to kind of extend, you know, um, you know, whatever, um, thoughts and prayers, whatever it may be, just to be nice. But why bother doing that if you actually have beef with somebody? If you legitimately feel like somebody did you wrong, maybe the best thing to do to kind of be true to yourself and to be true to the situation is not to pretend, not to double type the post and write like something in there, RIP, whatever. It's just to kind of, you know, hold your counsel and keep it moving and keep scrolling. Maybe that is the best way to go about things. It's incredibly mean and crazy to say this, but maybe that's actually accurate because that's actually how you really feel. So instead of having, instead of holding on to that resentment and pretending like you care, you'd kind of let go of that resentment by saying, you know what, quote, unquote, I won, which is insane to say, really dark, really mean-spirited, um, kind of bordering on evil, but at least it's who you actually are. You're actually being your true self in that situation. That maybe is the right way to go about it, personally, because there's no real back and forth that could make this make sense. This young fly can't say nothing to kind of bring back the wife of his children, his partner, his wife, the person that he's missing the most right now. Nothing he says is ever going to bring her back anyway. Nothing he's, ever, he's going to say is ever going to convince Azalea Banks that he's not a mean person who hurt her feelings back then because she clearly held on to something like that for I mean, however many years it was, 10 years, maybe five. It's crazy. So if that's the case, just say rest in peace and keep it moving. It's fucking insane to say it because it's clearly incredibly mean and has nothing to do with the lady at hand that passed away. But maybe that is somewhat accurate and true because it actually is something you actually feel like. Because I remember the same situation happening or me having the same realization when I saw the weird outpouring of fake love and whatever else when Virgil passed away. I was like, hold on. Like I kind of had the very... Sh you know short and brief period um of you know how i had a very short and brief privilege of kind of working alongside a guy and obviously being a fan of him from afar from a long time and i'd know you know quite a lot of, a lot of people in the scene and shit not everyone but a lot of people in the scene and i kind of knew the sentiment around him so a lot of people that were saying these kind of weird fake things about him and how much he meant to them and all this sort of stuff i knew that in real life when he was alive they were the ones that were also talking incredibly bad about him and essentially kind of mocking and laughing at his success and questioning why it wasn't them that got that position at Louis Vuitton why they didn't have the Nike collab or the Ikea thing like you know it wasn't real but then I also understood at that time you know what this is kind of part and parcel of the game uh, weirdly enough it's part of the social media clout demons type of um you know society we're living at the moment where every opportunity where every instance in real life is opportunity for you to kind of you know add to those flipping clout tokens that you're flipping storing up so when Virgil passed away even though people that were you know posting their tributes and trying to pretend like they were best friends with the guy even though that wasn't true it kind of you know it served the purpose in terms of making them look a certain way and that's what everyone cares about it's just a look and on top of that Talking about just a look. Talking about just a look. We have to flip and feature this thing, Adi, just to end it off. So this is the one that really caught me off guard. And I'm really curious to see what this young lady says to kind of explain it away. So what you're looking at here on the screen is a screenshot taken from this girl called B. Simone's Instagram story page. And she's one of her close friends um, of the lady, the young lady who passed away recently, who was Banks is kind of like dancing on her grave. Um, who's also the partner of DC Young Fly. 
and you know she's one of the close friends and of course i guess because they're all kind of well-known people they're all sort of like people on the outside fans and whatever are looking to see what the response is from the friends about the passing away of their close friend like in such tragic circumstances and b simone being one maybe one of the more famous ones from that group comes out and posts the following caption on her instagram story if you're not on my close friends you're not going to see much of my life during this time close friends i love you thank you for being a safe space and then it's got a link join my close friends now <laughs> so essentially this b simone's girl has turned her close friends feature on instagram into an opportunity to kind of monetize you know get, get some extra clients which is not uncommon i've seen people do it um it's kind of a, a way to kind of like a private it's kind of a way to sort of like have people on your finster that's not a finster i don't know it's, it's a clever way to make some extra bit of money i kind of understand what she's sort of doing but to do that in the midst of your friend passing away because you know people are waiting to see what you have to say and to see how you feel and what you're whatever um is kind of demonic maybe even worse than what azalea banks did because at least azalea banks had a personal grudge against one half of the couple but this person is meant to be a friend of the girl that passed away and now you're monetizing her death by selling subscriptions to your close friends on instagram so people can see you cry or people can see you post like i don't know reels of you what like sadly watching tv and shit or what I, I don't know it's flipping insane but i'm hoping this is not what it seems like and maybe it's um more so like a, a thing that she does anyway all the time because you know she's just part of her kind of content strategy as a content creator influencer type person maybe it's a scheduled post that was already done that wasn't you know looked at before i'm not too sure but god almighty either way it's really 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 insane to see but also goes to show that this whole clout social media game thing is fucking sadistic and kind of sad and sometimes, you know, someone passes away in this actual real tragic situation in real life. But then the conversation around it is the worst thing, actually, post. People kind of jostling to sort of like, you know, establish how close they were to the person. Um, and just all sorts of manner of stuff happening that has nothing to do with sort of like the real thing, which is, you know, looking out for your family and friends who you left behind, being there for your kids and shit and all that malarkey that you would imagine would be the real mark of a real friend. But hey, what do I know? I don't really have many of them.